Hi guys, Rainbow here. Today we're going to talk about the Fruit of Life vision card, which frankly is a really good vision card for ice, but I feel like there is a ton of really good vision cards for the ice element, so we'll discuss what it does, where it would fit in a team, and whether it's a good investment or not. So first things first, this vision card is designed towards ice missile attackers, right? It has missile attack crit rates, so it's really towards using units like Eliza, of course, but also Rafal, Curie, Barrett, Rosa, uh, yeah, there's a lot of missile ice units that can shoot around, and I'm sure I forgot a bunch here. Uh, so there are many units that leverage this. Uh, but there's also a bunch of new vision cards that are going to be coming in the future, and I feel like even if we don't have this one, it's already very easy to fit six vision cards into an ice team and have something very powerful. So I don't think this is a must-pull in any way. Uh, if we look at its stats, clearly again designed for missile, it has HP, attack, and dexterity, and uh, most missile hits does have a dexterity scaling to their damage, it increases your crit rate as well, so it's not a bad stat to have. The individual ability here is really good. It gives you 30% acquired AP. Uh, we know that using uh, having high amounts of acquired AP can be very, very good, especially when you have a unit like Eliza that has good AoE buffs, and you don't necessarily want to turn those off so that she uses bells. So if you have enough acquired AP, you can actually go through an entire fight just using your AoE buffs without ever running out of steam, and this is part of that. Uh, it also has accuracy, which I really like, especially on a unit like this that doesn't prioritize its accuracy up buff and is not the most accurate uh, from the get-go. Uh, the individual ability, we don't know the numbers just yet, but we're going to get extra attack and agility on both Eliza and Rafal. I don't think this is so much of a Rafal vision card, she's a unit that relies on evasion more than anything, and in most scenarios you will be wanting to run uh, the um, Starry Veil or whatever that is, the Velric vision card that gives her luck up, because otherwise she's not going to get there. Uh, so I think it's mostly an Eliza vision card, but still extra attack and agility are two good stats to have on these units, so it's going to be something uh, that's really relevant. If I'm looking at the same stat distribution kind of that was on the Terra vision card, I'm expecting 20% attack, 5% agility. If it's more agility than that, Eliza will have a huge boon. Even 5% would be 3 points of agility for her, so you can imagine... 10% would be 6 more agility, and at that point she'll be one of the fastest units in the game. We'll see that on Wednesday, I don't know for sure yet. And the party ability, missile attack, really good for those missile units. Crit rate is kind of good across the board, we're getting to a point where many units have abilities that depend on crit for extra effects, so having extra crit rate is a good thing in a vision card now, uh, whereas in the beginning of the game I didn't like it so much, because I felt like it wasn't that impactful damage-wise. Well now, it is starting to be impactful damage-wise for units like Eliza that have the Trick Lancer sub job that can have in it extra crit damage, and then their crits actually do hit quite a bit harder, uh, but also just for those extra effects like on Binding Javelin where you get the Immobilize on top. And then finally, Slash Resistance 20, that's always good, Slash is extremely common, it's going to continue being common in War of the Visions because we know the main characters of basically every Final Fantasy uses swords, so whenever there's going to be a collab, there's going to be more sword users. I feel like uh, that's kind of a no-brainer here, Slash is going to remain uh, common across War of the Visions uh, story. So if I was running this vision card, I think in most scenarios, this is kind of what I would do. Uh, so my primary cards are the one on top. On somebody like Eliza, I would have uh, this vision card itself, and then potentially the Curie vision card or Fenrir, anything that gives you extra offense. I feel like your main slot VCs in a team like this are going to be the Eliza VC, the Laswell VC, and then Chaos Odin for extra damage. And you have a very offensive setup. That's something you could run with two missile users in a team uh, and a tank, or just a full offense setup where you don't care about reducing your incoming damage. If you did care about having a good tank, you could run the Praevia vision card, uh, the upcoming Snow vision card that I'll talk about in a short while, or even the MAX Manifold for extra AoE resistance. There are a bunch of options you could swap around, uh, but for a full offense setup, this is really what you have, what you want. We have two 50% attack vision card, we have ice attack up in the secondary slot, missile attack and men eater in the secondary slot. This is all for your missile team to kill the enemies before they reach your team. And I feel like that would be a very powerful setup if you have all those cards. I will say, though, the Eliza vision card is good as a secondary slot VC. The, the stats that it has are not cut off massively, it's not like AoE resistance or single target resistance where you lose out most of the benefits, and the acquired AP portion in the individual ability actually gets reduced very little when it's in the secondary slot, so you do gain a massive boon in your acquired AP if you have that even as a secondary vision card. 
Now, something that might be worth considering is there's already a bunch of other good options. If I wasn't running the Eliza Vision card, I would instead be running something like Mask of Deceit, or maybe just put the Curry card in primary slot. There's a bunch of ways to increase your damage. Or just put Frederica's Dream with Missile Attack. You don't get the crit rate and the extra slash resistance, but it's not the end of the world. Like, Ice does have many different options that you could run uh, that are somewhat competitive. Also, there are other vision cards coming for the Ice Element that we've seen on the JT site already. Uh, so let's take a look at these. The first one is going to be released alongside Snow. So again, you can expect individual bonuses for Snow on this one. I'm not going to cover that because we just don't know what's going to happen. Uh, but this is also a vision card that would benefit a unit like Eliza almost as much as the one we're looking at right now because it gives you defense penetration for all your units and extra ice attack. Guess what? Your missile attacks all scale off of defense penetration and ice attack as well. So this is really good in a party and it could potentially replace this one. You also get extra wind resistance sense, which you should already be winning against wins, so I feel like that doesn't matter too much, but for some specific guild battle strategies, you could leverage this if you want to be certain to uh, clear both teams of uh, wind defense, uh, for example. And then, of course, the individual ability is more oriented towards tanking, because it's a vision card that is intended to be put on Snow, who's a tank. Uh, but still, that's going to be a very strong card, and I feel like if you had to make a decision between this one or the Eliza VC, it's hard, they're both just as valuable depending on the setup, and I would probably lean a little bit more towards Snow's VC, because Snow, I feel, will be a mainstay in Ice Teams. He is a fantastic tank, he is kind of meta-defining for the Ice Element from what I've seen on the JP side, and so you will be wanting to run him in most of your teams, so might as well get his Vision card. Uh, but then there's the other Vision card that's released alongside Alaya. Rundal, so uh, cost 100 Ice Gunner, another ranged attacker. And in the case of this vision card, the stats on the card are really, really good. You get some AP, some agility on top of everything else, which is more overall stats than what you have on the Eliza VC. Uh, the individual ability is agility. Of course, we can expect the uh, cost 100 Ice Gunner to have an extra bonus on top. Units always get these. Uh, but then the party effects are extra pierce resistance, which is not very valuable in my mind, but uh, missile resistance penetration, which again increases your Eliza damage. I feel like this one might be lower value than the Eliza VC. I would prioritize having slash resistance and missile attack and crit rate over uh, pierce resistance, missile penetration, and crit evasion. So overall, this one seems a little bit weaker, uh, but the Snow VC is definitely a contender for the uh, Fruit of Life vision card. So that's it. I'm going to keep this fairly short. Frankly, I don't know whether the uh, Fruit of Life Vision card is a must pull for uh, most players. Well, it is not for most players. It's not time limited. You will have a chance to get it at some point. But as I said in my uh, previous video about Vision card, we don't pull for Vision card very often. And more often than not, when we chase for units pity, uh, for unit banners, we don't even have Vision cards in the pool. So it's not. Uh, easy to get them off banner. You can go for a long while without getting them. I will be getting the Eliza Vision card because I decided to pull for Eliza and naturally I want to be able to make her as strong as I can. Uh, but for players that didn't go for her or that don't intend on building Ice Missile uh, in the near future, then I guess you could uh, safely save off of it. And even if you don't have this, again, you can make competitive teams just using the general offensive Ice Vision cards because there's the Last Wall VC, Chaos Odin, Fenrir. There's just already a bunch of really good competitive options. You don't have the Eliza Vision card, just run Astrologer in your sub slot. You're still getting extra attack percentage and acquired AP up. You're kind of it's not as good, but it's not that big of a loss. So I feel like there are other things you could do if you don't pull this. Uh, so that's going to be it from me. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.